so we are on our way to the Krokonoshe Mountains in the north of the Czech Republic for our annual Stoprocentny Czeski weekend. Um, and this year, not only do we have our language coach, Eliška, who is putting this together, but we have some new, new students that we have met. And three dogs, I believe. Two girls and two big. So he'll have his uh, he'll have his girlfriends there, his Moki there. The Krukonoshe Mountains are a two and a half hour drive northeast from Prague. We headed to a little town called Pets Podsnežko. Years ago, I used to take my students here for a 100% English weekend. Despite it being late August, the weather was not looking ideal for hiking. Well, that is if you're a wimpy Californian like me. The Czechs don't let a little rain deter them. We stayed at a lovely chalet. In this region, they call it a Horska Boda. And ours was Praška Boda, the same place we stayed last year. It felt so at home to us, in fact, that the gentleman checking us in even remembered us from last year. I wonder if that's a good thing. Tobik might be a hardened city dog, but being in nature calmed his soul, and he hardly barked at a single other dog all weekend. Our reservation included buffet, breakfast, and dinner, and our plan was to roam the hills during the day and get our midday meal at one of the other chalets. The rooms are fairly basic and functional, with a sink in your room and a shared toilet and shower across the hall. But we didn't really want to waste any time in our rooms, so they suited our needs just fine. Buddy's got his little food station. Buddy, are you ready for a hike? Do you want to go outside and see Finca? Let's go. And you really couldn't beat the view. The weather, however, was making us increasingly nervous. But if it rains, I'm gonna be ready. Before we set out on our mountain adventure, I wanna thank this week's sponsor, Italki, for helping me make these videos possible. If you've watched my videos, you know that I don't just use Italki to learn the Czech language, I also use it to meet native speaking Czechs who teach me about Czech culture, Czech people, Czech idioms, and basically the flavor of life in this country. You just can't get that from a textbook or a gamified language app. You can become fluent in Czech or English or any language with Italki. Simply click on my link below to find the best quality language teachers and sign up for personalized one-on-one -on -one lessons. Did you know that 19 hours on Italki equals one college semester of language lessons? Italki also helps you save time and money. You can practice from anywhere for free with the Italki community. This month they're offering a special deal. Take your first lesson in September and get a chance to win free lessons for three months. There will be 40 lucky winners who will get free lessons worth 305 euros. Everyone who signs up with my link and uses the code DREAM to purchase $10 worth of italki credits will save $5. Don't let another month pass you by wishing you had improved your language skills. When you sign up for italki using my link, you help me support this channel so I can keep making these videos and sharing them with you. So thank you. This was our second annual Stoprocentny Czeski weekend, a gathering of some of Alishka's Czech students who wanted a bit of language immersion that, ironically, we don't always get in the cities in the Czech Republic. I was so impressed with some of the students who live abroad or only recently moved to Prague, but have been studying Czech online with Alishka. They were amazing. It just shows that we really have no excuse not to learn the language. I made sure they were out of ears distance before momentarily slipping back into English. So Jen, how's Stoprocentny Chesky weekend going? <laughs> 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 
Um, teacher is far ahead, so we're going to take this opportunity to say hello to all of you in English. Okay. But it is beautiful, and knock on wood, it stopped raining. So we're just going to go with it and hope it stays nice. And so it's Devade Sat Percent Chesky Weekend. <laughs> Devade Sat Percent. What I'm discovering is that some nefarious individual told me that the best mushrooms were to be found in September and it is August and the woods are filled with jacks who know better. They're getting all the mushrooms. <laughs> We've got a team out looking for Borovki, which is blueberries. We found a nice little bistro for a snack, and I had the best and only porkova polevka I've ever had. Back at the chalet, we put on our house slippers and saddled up to the bar for a drink. A few miscommunications in Czech led to some extra shots being ordered, but we didn't let them go to waste. The food was authentically Czech and very filling and very tasty. Je to vepšové. Jo. Jo. The weekend was filled with games, forcing us to get creative with our check. And the musically inclined entertained us with Czech songs. Then we retired to an improvised movie theater to watch a classic Czech film. morning of our departure we took one last walk through the fairy tale landscape and I started to wonder am I really a city girl couldn't I just stay up here in the mountains living on mushrooms and blueberries and learning new Czech vocabulary at night with board games who needs a view of the castle when nature has created landscapes like this Thank <laughs> you.
Děkuji moc. Děkuji moc krát, děkuji. Jsme rádi, že jste tady byli. Čau, Liška, díky moc za víkend. Já děkuji. Čau, Pinku. Čau, čau. Uvidíme se příští týden. Ahoj.